Hey folks, and welcome to Bangkok. Well, actually suburban Bangkok, but this will be where we spend the spend the episode today. This is this episode is sort of a, a follow-up from a previous episode I did probably back in May, where I took V around uh, Patia looking in search of a of a vaccine. So anyway, she's finally found what she's looking for. Let's go back to this morning in Patia and I'll tell you why we're here and what we're doing. So Monday morning, it it might be a little bit of a long day today. We're on our way to, to Bangkok. Not really Bangkok, it's a suburb east of Bangkok, a little bit called Lat Prao. Lat Prao, and the main purpose of our visit is that is where V has scheduled to get her immunization. And I'll explain, I mean, she tried to get it here. I'll explain a little bit around the, how that came about. It's one of these things everybody's experience is different. Ah. Uh, the where and the how and the which one you get it's a whole thing but she's excited to get that today she's been waiting a long time <laughs> so we'll see how that unfolds and we're just gonna wait for our taxi so we're taking a taxi up there we're just going and coming right back it's while we're in that same neighborhood there's a place that I've been wanting to go and I think it's somewhere pretty cool and it's basically kind of on the way. So, so let's get going. So we've reached our first stop. We'll go in and have a look, see what they have there. I don't know if there's anything I need or not, but it is a one of the only places of this quality equipment and this scope of equipment. So any kind of, I, I, I guess the best way to describe it is, is professional video uh, production. So we'll see what they have. My, my friend uh, Martin told me about this place. He's professional video producer and um, he gets equipment here and he said oh you might see something there you like but since it's in the same neighborhood as this hospital I thought we'll stop by and take a quick uh, quick look so very uh, easy ride up here today we came with Angie of Angie's taxi um, I think let me see what time it is she was right on time as usual at 8 o'clock here it is it's 9 35 we've been here five minutes already probably so an hour and a half to get up here to Lot Prowl today. Uh, I think that's very good time. Very light traffic on the roads. So we'll uh, go in and have a look. So yeah, wow, what a store. So one of the things I notice in with stores in general here in Thailand is oftentimes the inventory is lacking. You know, inventory is exp it's expensive. I'm used to going into big box stores and they've got inventory stacked up as high as the elephant's eye. Uh, here, not so much. It seems like they have one, one or two of each item. If they sell that, they order another one. They do have very good logistic uh, services here to, for the quick and rapid movement of goods. So that is one way of managing it to kind of keep overhead low and to keep your money out of inventory. But this store does have a great amount of inventory, high-end things. These cameras here, uh, 80 to 100,000 baht right there. So, very nice. Don't know that I need anything of that high quality or caliber to do what I do, though. So, wow, what a selection. I see what he means. Uh, a lot of these uh, very popular, these switching boxes uh, for multiple video sources, audio sources, for live streaming, things like that. They have all that, the cameras, the tripods, the lighting, the whole works. So, if you need some kind of professional uh, audio video gear, even things like headphones, they got you covered here. In fact, I guess before I leave, I should, I should call my buddy Martin just to make sure he doesn't need anything um, while I'm here. You can order stuff. You can, they speak very good English in here, by the way. You can order things, and they will ship it to you with Carry Express. So um, I'll just, before I leave, who knows, he might need something. So. Hey, Martin. How you doing, buddy? Hello, uh, Lucas. Oh, how you doing, mate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess where I am? 
Yeah, yeah, I told you I was coming. I told you I was coming. Hey, listen, I just thought, you know, before I leave here, they got a lot of stuff. But I just thought, hey, I'd ask you, um, you know, do you need anything? You need me to pick you up something while I'm here? Uh, ask them if they got what? A voyeur cam? What's that? So they've, they've given her a questionnaire and she's got to fill out the questionnaire first. So that was the first step. They took the ID, they give her a questionnaire. She'll answer a bunch of questions. She's trying to read through it and see what they are. And then after that, she'll turn that in. Then we'll see where we go from there. Um, she said this whole thing's going to take about an hour, but we'll see. We'll see. Oh, by the way, for V, it's free. This is free. So. In, in Patia, in Patia, she could have gotten immunized, but they wanted to give her the best she could do was she could get one dosage or one shot of the Sino and one of the AZ. Here, she's gonna get both of the AZ, two shots of AZ in the program here. So that's why she held out and came to, we came up here to Lot Prow. So everybody's, <laughs> everybody's scenario has been different. Even the ladies we talked to just now in the camera shop, they actually went to Patia and got the program that she refused. So they traveled from Lat Prow down to Patia to get the one and the one and one. Um, so every, everybody's, depending on what you want and where it's available and how you register. There's multiple different ways and venues you can register through. Um, everybody's experience is different. This is just hers. So she, she waited for a while and this came up and they said you can come in for your first one today and then the second one I guess will be in a month or so, but both of them will be the, uh, the AZ, which is what she, which is what she wanted. That's what she was, that's what she was waiting for. <laughs> Didn't take them long to find out where to put me. I'll show you where they put me. <laughs> no, I can't. She's done all the preliminary stuff, so I can't apparently go back to the room where she'll actually be administered the dose. So this is like a waiting area for, uh, for extras. So she'll have to go in there herself. They got these, got these nice little bottles of water you can, you can have laying all over the place. And lovely waiting area in here. So I'll just sit in here and wait for her. I don't know how long she'll be back there. And I can't get a picture of her actually, actually getting stuck. That's what I wanted. Uh, I feel a little bit ripped off, but anyway, we'll sit here in the uh, mental health waiting area. I escaped from the mental health waiting room I figure V's in there it, by herself in the waiting room for the, for the shot. No sense me waiting around in there. It wasn't my scene. So I did see something right next to the hospital on the way in that I thought I'd go check out. My luck, she'll probably only take like two minutes in there and then be wondering where I am. But she's got a phone. But anyway, I'm going to come over here just right next to the hospital. And they had... Uh, Something that looked familiar. And I think they're for sale. I'll see if I can find out. Maybe I can get a quick look-see at one. So yeah, back two or three months ago, we actually stayed at a resort which featured these, these caravans or, or travel trailers as the accommodation of the resort. Now, I had a lot of questions uh, after that and the legalities and could you own one. This lady here, uh, she went ahead and cleared all that up. Four burner stove. So she says, and an oven. This is very similar to the one we stayed in. Refrigerator, sink, and this has a sitting area here. But there's no bathroom in this one. Unless that's it over there, the closet. Is this a bathroom? Oh, yeah. 
啊啊 ，Hello，Okay， s i p n a t i m a o k a y d e a l p e p n o n g s o v s done already. Can't find me. But it doesn't have the shower. But actually, this looks. Everything in here looks newer. This is an older one. But anyway, she says you can buy it. They will register it and give you a number plate. So, I guess newsflash: you, these are legal to pull. I just asked her. I said, "Any problem with the、uh, police?" She said, "No. They they register it and make it legal with a number plate." So, they also have a brand new one here, but the brand new one has already been sold. Everything's a little bit tighter in this one. This is newer than the one we stayed in, and she said it's about 20 feet long. And these are new.、Uh, this one、uh, new also. No, that's just a used one. This is the only one. That's the new one, but it's sold already. So this one, this one, how much? It's.、Um... So yeah, the one we went in was a 2006 model. Now, now they renovate these. She also goes on to tell me that. They get them from the UK, so they come in from the UK. They they do have to do an electrical conversion, and、uh, then they sell them here. That one was five hundred and fifty nine thousand baht. Comes out to sixteen thousand seven hundred in U.S. dollars, but、uh, in very good shape. And they do a good job, I think, renovating. Oh wow! Wow, look at all that back there. That's a lot of storage. It's, it's the one. Oh, oh, this is a little smaller, right? Yeah, it's okay. Wow! Oh wow! It's like brand new inside. It's two thousand seven. Two thousand seven. This one. Okay. Oh, that's neat. I like that arrangement. I guess that tra- changes into a bed. You make this into a bed. Yeah, you can do that. Now, let's see the bathroom in this one. A little bit bigger, and this one has the shower just like the ones we had. So I kind of like this one better with the little sink and shower. You still get the four burner stove, the oven. The refrigerator, the sink, all the storage. Very neat. So this is one place they come from. Definitely.、Uh, <laughs> These guys are putting a wrap on this one because it's been sold. Oh wow! There you go. A little bit of、uh, behind the scenes on the on the caravan situation here. I learned a lot I, because people told me they were illegal to pull, but she sold a thousand of them. Have put number plates on them. They come, they get them from the UK. At least this place does, and about a half million baht、uh, for a decent one. They're going to go up from there because they have brand new ones and newer ones. But if you want one, that's an option. Now, I guess the next question is: Could you live in one? Could you park it somewhere, or find some cool place to park it, and just like live in it? <laughs> I don't know. That's another story. Let's go back and see how V made out. She made out okay. She's got a, she's got, <laughs> she's got video of her shot, and、uh, meanwhile I got to look at caravan. So I think that all worked out. Not a bad trip. We're gonna grab a bite to eat and then head back home. That's all it's gonna be.、Uh, it was actually a pretty, pretty quick trip here. We're ahead of schedule, way ahead of schedule. So yeah, if you're curious, that's called Nawawe Hospital. And I was—I I, got to tell you—I was very impressed with the whole facility, the cleanliness, the staff, the size, the scope,、uh, everything. It was a very nice hospital. I was—I was surprised. I, I usually don't like to go into hospitals.、Uh, I'd, I'd rather just stay away from hospitals. But we had to go, and、uh, I got to see what the mental health waiting room looked like. But at any rate, we had a good trip. Special thanks to Angie's Taxi. Always a a, a pleasure when she's behind the wheel. And.、Uh, Hope you enjoyed the episode, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave this one off right here. And as usual, I'll thank you for watching. 
And until next time, bye for now.